Unitree just did it again, and this time, it might have flipped the entire humanoid robot market on its head. Meet the Unitree R1, a fully functional, bipedal humanoid robot with AI capabilities, voice recognition, image detection, and 26 joints that can even pull off cartwheels. And the kicker? It costs just $5,900. Yeah, you heard that right. A humanoid robot under six grand. That's not a typo. This isn't a prop or a toy. This is real, functional robotics at a price point nobody saw coming. While the world was still trying to absorb that shock, something else wild happened. Over in Shanghai, a humanoid robot was spotted directing live city traffic in the middle of the street. No lab, no test track, just real-world AI stepping into public service. But before we get to that, let's break down why the R1 is making waves across the industry. So what exactly is the R1? At first glance, it's a lightweight, research-focused humanoid launched by Unitree in July 2025. But in reality, it's more than just a research bot, it's a gateway. Because while most humanoids cost tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars, the R1 steps in with a jaw-dropping $5,900 price tag. That's not just affordable. It's disruptive. The R1 features 26 degrees of freedom, arms, legs, torso, neck, giving it incredibly fluid, human-like motion. Robots with this kind of mobility typically come with a five-figure price tag. But Unitree isn't just cutting costs, they're pushing performance too. This little machine can cartwheel. It can shadow box, throwing punches and dodging like it's training for a match. Sure, it's not going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a pro fighter, but a sub, 6K robot moving like this? That's a serious statement. Let's talk specs. First, weight. The R1 is just 25 kilograms significantly lighter than previous models like the G1 or H1. That makes it more agile, more portable, and a lot less dangerous if it topples over. You don't need a team of engineers to move it. Second, its AI system is multimodal. That means it understands both voice and visual inputs. You can talk to it, and it'll also recognize objects, faces, and gestures, similar to systems used in robots costing five times more. And the battery life? Around an hour per charge, with easily swappable batteries. No long downtime. Just swap and go. Perfect for researchers and devs who need extended hands-on time. But let's be clear, this isn't meant to be your household helper, yet. The R1 is built as a development platform. It's for researchers, engineers, and serious hobbyists. Think of it as a physical canvas for building the future of humanoid robotics. And by pricing it this low, Unitree has lowered the barrier to entry in a massive way. Until now, humanoid AI was a playground for the mega-rich corporations, elite labs, governments. Now, a small university team or solo developer can jump in. That's the real revolution. Of course, the R1 isn't perfect. It's not waterproof. It's not lifting boxes or folding your laundry. Its hand dexterity is limited, and you're not seeing it do backflips yet. But it's not trying to do those things. That's where higher-end models like Unitree's H1 come in. The R1 is about access, experimentation, and innovation. And innovation thrives when more people get involved. Now let's jump to Shanghai, because the other half of this story is just as mind-blowing. A now viral video shows what appears to be a robotic traffic officer, a humanoid, directing vehicles in the middle of a busy city intersection. Not as a stunt, not as an art piece, as a functioning part of the city. This robot was standing on a platform, moving its arms with uncanny precision, coordinating traffic like it had been doing it for years. Local authorities reportedly are testing robotic assistance for real urban infrastructure roles. And it's working. A few years ago, humanoids were clumsy lab demos. Now they're showing up in daily life, guiding traffic in one of the world's largest cities. This isn't coincidence, it's convergence. One side is about accessibility, Robots like the R1 reaching developers everywhere. The other side is deployment. Real-world use cases being tested by governments and corporations. So what happens when those two trends meet? When affordable humanoids like the R1 get into the hands of people building real applications. Traffic control, elder care, logistics, teaching. The possibilities explode. Today it's cartwheels. Tomorrow. Maybe controlling intersections, patrolling malls, or helping patients in hospitals. And Unitree isn't done. They've already hinted at future versions, more joints, smarter AI, better sensors. And if history's any guide, prices are going to keep falling while capabilities keep climbing. 
We are witnessing the beginning of the mainstream humanoid revolution. What was once science fiction is now becoming real and accessible. This is Robo Frontier, where we cover the breakthroughs shaping our robotic future. If you want to stay ahead of the curve and see where the next wave of AI and robotics is heading, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell, because the future's not waiting. See you in the next one.